Americans headed back to work tomorrow may find it's taken them a little bit longer to get where they're going, but the longer commute might be a sign of economic recovery. Stephanie Elam has the facts for us from New York. So maybe there's a silver lining to why it takes so long to get to work. <laughs> yeah, I know, Rochelle, if people send in traffic on the way to work, they're not going to be excited about <laughs> it. But you've got to read into it and, and think okay. positive thoughts about that. So here's the deal. After a year and a half of decreased congestion, it's getting a little more crowded on America's roads. That's according to NRICS, a company that monitors traffic patterns nationwide using over a million GPS-enabled cars and trucks. Now, the average American will spend about 30 hours stuck in traffic this year. That's a slight increase from 2008, but it's still well off the 41-hour average Americans spent in traffic in 2007, back before the recession began. Now, Emrick says the increase is due to lower fuel prices and increased economic activity. In some cities, that means more people going to work. Washington, D.C., for example, saw one of the largest increases in travel time, a result of more government workers. But you know what? It's not just jobs. Enric says its numbers take into account several factors, including more shipping and freight activity as well, Rochelle. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm with you. I'm feeling the vibe. Okay. Let's talk about all this money from this, the stimulus packages. Some of that money was supposed to go for lots of road projects. Might that be part of what all the traffic holdup is about as well? Yes, ma'am. No doubt about it. The Department of Transportation received $27.5 billion from the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act. Now, if you take a look at what that has funded so far, over 6,000 road projects nationwide, which Enric says has led to a 40% increase in delays during off-peak construction hours from the first half of 2008 to the first half of this year. Now, take a look at this map. It'll show you where some of the biggest relative delays are, starting with Albuquerque, New Mexico, their I-40 project. And then in St. Louis, multiple interest state projects are in the works and the Massachusetts Accelerated Bridge program has Boston, Worcester and Springfield all in the top 10 to, in terms of increased overnight delays. Number one on that list, Portland, Maine. There are plans to redesign I-295 and that is one of the area's main arteries. Of course, you can follow the recovery from every angle at CNNMoney.com, including a related story about some of the more unusual stimulus projects, Rochelle. Oh, that would be interesting, but this is all supposed to be about progress. Okay, patience for right, progress. Right, exactly. There you go. Okay, thanks, Stephanie. Have a good holiday. You too. Even though we're working, but we're working. <laughs> That's the point. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Stephanie. Well, it's a race against time for crews trying to repair.